How to estimate for a roof extension with a gable end. For this we will use the any roof screen, but before we go there we'll just show you a plan of the roof we intend to draw. So here's the roof, you can see the side view here, so that's the rear face, this is the front face, and we're going to have a roof extension sticking out like this with a gable end. So we've got a ridge of 7 metres across there, a run of 4 metres, um, the roof sticks out from the main roof by 5 metres and there's a difference there of 2. Okay, you can see a plan view here, so you've got a left hand side and a right hand side and you can obviously see the roof. In terms of using the any roof screen, we use a panel called Trap 90C which is a right angled trapezium and we've got the mirror image of that on the right hand side here. So those are the two panels we're going to use. So let's go off and draw the roof. So in this screen, first of all we'll select the panels. So the first panel we wanted was this Trap 90C. This represents the left hand side of the face and we put in the dimensions as indicated on the diagram. So the ridge was 7 metres, so for length A we put in 7 metres. We know E was 2 metres from the diagram. We know the run, which is C in this diagram here, is 4 metres. And we know that B, which is the protrusion from the main face, was 5 metres. OK, we want horizontal battens, and we just make it simple. We have ridge tiles along the top. <laughs> we'll give this a name of left-hand side, just so we know. And here, here's the face, the left-hand side face. We do the same now for the track 90CX, which is the mirror image of this, to represent the right-hand face. So we find a track 90CX there. We label this right hand side, we put in the same measurements because it's the same thing all over again. So length B was 5, C run is 4 metres, E was 2 metres. Click validate, it's calculated the run down there for you. OK, we don't want ridge tiles on this one because it was selected on the other panel and these panels share a common ridge. OK, so we accept this one. OK, now down here we'll enter the parts we want for both panels. So we just make a quick random selection, put something in the system for you. OK, we need a ridge tile. Uh, that's it, put in a gauge, it's just 100 millimetres, rough spacing 400. Um, you don't want to strip the roof, you want some skips. OK, we can estimate. There's the estimate. You can see the type of part. You can see the part name down here, you can see the quantities, the unit prices, the totals. And here you've got your parts cost, your labour cost, your subtotal, your VAT. If you're not VAT registered then you'll set your labour VAT to zero and there's your total. Square metre rate. OK, going back to the main screens. If you wanted different panels, sorry, different parts on each of these panels, you can override them here. When you click this button you can put in the parts you want and the gauges. If you don't put anything in there, it will use the ones from the main roof, which it says here. When you've done the estimate, you can also look at it in Excel. So if you wait a second, Excel will fire up. And if you've got Excel on your computer, you'll be able to see these results in Excel, where you can manipulate them as you wish. There you go. You can see your totals here. You can see your breakdowns here. OK, we don't need to save Excel, because it's saved with an estimated roof. OK, thank you for your time.